Talking about sad anime today, and I have to start with Demon Slayer. Not a traditionally weepy show, Demon Slayer's incredible action is often padded with tragedy. We lose characters we care deeply about, and even some of the demons are redeemed in their final moments as lost souls looking for places to belong. Erased is a time travel and psychological thriller anime that follows an underemployed 29-year-old who flits through time at random to fix problems and save people from terrible fates, including murder. Erased is so heartbreaking because of the final leap. He must save three of his classmates who were murdered and figure out who the killer was, but it's the central relationship with Hinazuki that represents the deepest sorrow of the show. Although it has the deceptively most upbeat anime opening I think ever, Death Parade is actually a super heavy a psychological anime about the afterlife. It's about a neutral being running a bar where people who died simultaneously compete in various games to see where their souls will end up. Apart from the competition, the show delves into questions of good and evil and what it means to be human. Check it out. The movie Grave of the Fireflies is one of the most heartbreaking films fans will ever see. Set in the final days of World War II, the film tells the story of a young boy with his sister whose lives have been devastated by the cruel and brutal war that has left him without their parents and their home. Left to fend for themselves in the Japanese countryside, the siblings' youthful optimism is blinding in the face of unyielding adversity, giving them the strength to attempt to resist an inevitable fate. Achingly depressing and profoundly beautiful, it's one of Studio Ghibli's best films, and by far its saddest.